How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Nostalgia Quest series. So I've been reading through your comments and yes, I actually did forgot to do the epilogue uh, cutscene in the last episode. So that's where we are going to do it today to kickstart the episode. Hey, Rebus, I'm certain it was them. I masqueraded as such for long enough to know the telltale signs. Shadow Scythe activity on this planet, on this plane is irrelevant shade. They will interfere with your plans, surely. I know what this is really about. You fear retribution for your affront. After all, it was you who replaced them here. I, on the other hand, have nothing to fear from corruption, chaos, and doom. All of these are forces of entropy. Now leave, before I decide to experiment on you next as I am on this creature of shadow. Shadow, that is a brujado. They are creatures of light, necromancers or not. This is no brujado, it is a mere shade with an elaborate glamour, much like the kind you used. You are messing with shadows themselves now. What other abilities have you stolen from me? Unless you wish to find out personally, I suggest you leave. He has nothing to fear. Our vengeance is already being completed with his order and tatters beneath the feet of our feet. Kaylee Obsidia is more responsible for that than you. Obsidia's orders has been aided in finding the secrets that she sought at, very, at every turn, I assure you. Your world is merely taking its proper place in the necromantic mode that others follow already. But you know that quite well. After all, it was through your own access to the Shade's powers that you were able to contact me as well. Our agreement stands, Dretchen, as you met your end of the bargain, and as to your chosen, you are right about him. I am reminded of parallels to my own law. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's the same stuff. And, uh, the... 50% cutscene is basically just Rictorau breaking out of its shell, so it's like a 2 second cutscene. Nothing to see there, so we will not go through that. Right, so let's move on to the next part today. We will be heading to Rip in the Sky, out the Orients to continue. Okay, those that are read, I have already done on my channel, I'll be skipping through those. Okay, so the next one comes to us from the boiler room. Click around the room a bit and Vince will appear when you click the right thing. Okay. There we are. Gra, did I say you could touch my machine? <laughs> um, seem Sorry to seem so angry. It's just that, well, I worked a long time to put that thing together. It makes me nervous when anyone gets near it, especially at uh, him and his hammer and anvil. Gra. Okay, so agree to help him. Uh, What is that machine? That machine is well. I'm not completely sure what it does yet. I need to find a component that I lost before I even have a hope of finishing it. Let's go, I will help you. Want to know a secret? I've been secretly working on a trans transcellular minifier and I just tweaked the last adjustments. Okay, typo here. I believe this is probably a typo as well. Do you want to be my first unfortunate test subject? <laughs> my last victim shrunk so small that I've lost them somewhere. But if you could see them, I'm sure you would see that they are good and healthy. So are you up for it? Uh, okay, I guess. And boom, here we are. Success, and it didn't even explode. So what now? Do you have a um unsmaller fire machine tucked away somewhere? Hmm, I probably should have built that. Tell you what, I'll go make one, and in the meantime, you can run an errand for me. Not to point out the obvious, but I can't exactly run as fast as I used to when I'm this low to the ground. No problem. Here, use this small scale roundular transportation device. It's a hamster ball. No, it's faster than walking. Now hop in. Or do I need to put a little tree inside? Damn you, Vince. Stop treating us like a hamster. I need to get a small sphere of Roquefort material. It smells a bit like cheese. So the vermin down here stole it. I'll put it in the mouse hole so you can search their tunnels. You have to be very quiet once inside. Do not touch any of the walls or else you'll be detected. Also try to avoid the giant red things. Use the arrow keys to move around the maze. Good luck. Oh, a mini game. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so there's a rat here. We want to try and avoid him. And oh, you've been detected. Oh god. Oh, okay, I can't hit the wall. Alright. Yeah, I gotta go slow. Really slow. So I can't even like fight them or what. I just have to avoid them. Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely not as easy as it looks. Whew! That was close. Oh god. So what? Where are we supposed to go to? Oh. God damn it. Wait. What? I can't even choose to fight them? 
Yeah, I can't even choose to fight them or anything. I just can't get detected at all. Damn. Oh, times like these, I wish we could have just fought them or something. Uh, so where are we supposed to go? I have no... Oh, 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 oh. I see it. Purple ball. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Wait. Damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is a little hard. But we'll try our best. Okay. More haste, less speed. God damn it. You know what? This is this is actually pretty fun, to be very honest. I, I quite enjoy this. I'm going to go a little bit at a time so we don't get detected. Not here. Wow. Okay, I gotta be a little less heavy on the key presses. Yeah. Damn. The moment you touch the walls even by a little bit, uh, it's game over, so yeah. Wanna be really careful here. Okay. Turn. Okay, I need to be quick on that part. Uh, I want to be careful, but I also want to be quick. So, yeah. Oh. Okay, so we'll wait for the mouse to go here. And then we go... Congratulations! Now I can go continue my work. Here is something to thank you. Wow, damn. Okay, that was actually uh, pretty fun but also pretty frustrating because, yeah, it's... You know, I would have preferred it if, like, if you get detected, just let us go into a fight or something like that. This means you literally have to do it in one go and if you fail, then uh, you're permanently stuck. For completing a task successfully, we have received a chest full of gold. To be very honest, I think it's quite a fun mini game. I do wish that AQ has more of such mini games, but uh, it's frustrating, but it's fun at the same time. So yeah, I think I quite like it. <laughs> the string ray runs on photosynthetic juice. So if you want to get big again, just walk outside. You can come back to my boiler room anytime. Thanks. Alright, so the next one that we haven't done yet. Uh, library. Okay, where's the library? No, this is the forge. This is, I don't think this is the library, right? This one? Uh, fight. Okay, where do you fight? Battle chamber, I guess it's this one. Uh, yeah, I guess it's this one. Okay. Hmm. There's a boss fight or something. Okay, so we guess we can try that. We just stick in this armor. I guess it doesn't really matter. This is only like what level hundred. This is only like level twenty eight. So yeah. Uh, weapons will go silver lightning rod. I think the regular ball lightning should do it. Okay. Easy. Uh, let's bat on. How many monsters do you need to fight? Battle for more rewards. Stage four to six. Okay, so you do need to fight quite a few number of times in order to get the full rewards and I don't see a heal I don't know if there's a heal or not stage 6 okay so you need to fight through 6 monsters I think 6 monsters and a boss in order to reach the end interesting okay and they seem to all be water monsters alright so you know what I think Hydromancer will probably do better and then we can do our Celtic Wheel as well Chain Lightning because this one has more HP Okay, 6 hits. Uh, light is doing okay damage. 100%. Yep. And I think regular ball lightning should do it. And oh, yes, the annoying 1 HP. Uh, last, last, what do you call it? Last stand kind of effect. Whereby he hits you uh, before he dies. Oh, okay, so we do get a potion treasure chest here. That's nice. We'll take the health potions. Okay, 
Stage 1. Oh, wait, that's stage 1. Oh, so one stage has many monsters. Ah, okay. Right, so we actually have to be careful because inside of this armor, every time you cast a spell, you do expend a little bit of HP as well. And by little bit, I mean like a lot more than we are used to eating. Okay, so maybe I will not stay in this armor. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this armor. Let's switch out of it. Uh, we'll just use, I guess we just use armor of all. It doesn't really matter what we use, right? Okay, so now we'll do pixel either. Let's regain a bit of MP here. And let's do chain lightning for this one. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay, nice. Accelerator aging. And we regenerate mana. Okay. Let's continue fighting Bracken. Alright, this one just a cheap spell will do it. Ball lightning. Okay, so six freaking stages and each stage has like what uh i'm not I'm actually not counting i think it's like four monsters per stage or something huge treasure chest nice we'll take that 242 go yes that is huge indeed i mean even in real life if you think about it 242 dollars is not something i would consider a huge amount like, maybe if we were like 5 years old, sure, $242 is a huge amount, but I've already reached a stage in my life whereby $242 is like... <laughs> that will last me like, what, a week? <laughs> maybe less than a week, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, okay, probably a week. I don't, I don't really spend that much. Let's see, $242 still amount to like, what, $30 a day? Yeah, that, that will probably last me a week. No, not exactly my idea of huge, but whatever. Uh, draw mana. <clears throat> Let's continue battling giant piranha. Okay, this one. I think we can do a... Oh, wow, that was a lot of hits and they all missed. Nice. Oops, should have done ball like me instead. Too busy talking. Uh, pets, you know what, what is good here actually, energy, no, you know what? I think Shogun and Satsu is better here because this one eats up a lot of SP really quickly and we don't really need, uh, such a, you know, powerful pet, plus the monsters here aren't exactly weak to light either, so it's probably better if we get Shogun and Satsu, okay, another 242 gold, this is what, stage 3 already, right? Come on, saving. It's just 242 go. What's taking so long? Stage 3 complete. Let's continue. Bracken. Okay, ball lightning. Oh, tentacle for later. Calamari. Wow, it actually makes, it actually makes me want to eat calamari <laughs> right now. Hmm. Speaking of which, I don't think I've had it for a long, long time. Yeah. I recently had onion rings, but not calamari. Yeah, man. Calamari is good. Why am I even talking about food at this hour? It's like, what, 10.45 p.m.? Not, not super late. I mean, I usually go to sleep at like, what, 2 a.m. You on average, but... Yeah. <laughs> Uh god damn this is actually making me hungry. Control man, need a need to lose some weight. <laughs> okay uh Gargo Nice name by the way. Let's blast them. Okay, easy peasy done. Next Shiny treasure chest an expensive looking shiny treasure chest that should contain rare items is items aren't even spelled correctly rare it it mess it means <laughs> rumor has it that rare treasure chests contain the ancient artifacts needed to complete some sort of powerful weapon oh so i guess this will be a piece of the blade of all but yeah we already have the full blade so it's essentially nothing empty looks like someone beat you here the rare treasure is missing but there are a few potions perhaps they stashed it in some other treasure chests uh, I guess you can take some free potions. That's kind of nice. 
Alright, stage 4 complete. Next up, Selisa the Water Dragon. Why do they even come out with these names? I'm pretty sure Selisa isn't the name of some staff of theirs, right? I don't think they ever had a staff by the name of that. Fairly young Water Dragon, uh, Selisa is nevertheless mature and powerful enough to defend her sunken treasure hoard. Yep, uh, with a weak dragon like that, I suppose it's not a pretty big hoard of treasure you have there. But you know what? It's okay. Uh, water dragon. Ball lightning. Easy. Okay, four tokens. Let's continue battling. Bracken. Alright, another Bracken. Uh... What do I want to do here? Okay, we generate and I think full assault should be able to one shot him. Okay, now the pet will clean up. Nice. Shiny treasure chest again. Well, more potions, I guess. Come on. We'll take that. Wait, max is 30? Yeah, I thought max is 35. Oh, that's for X Guardians, right? Guardians can only go up to 30. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, yeah, even after so many years, after like over a thousand dollars worth of Z token packages in total, I am still not an X Guardian, guys. <laughs> yeah, still not an X Guardian. Uh, should I upgrade to X Guardian? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys think it's worth it just for the five extra health potions? They actually have to farm for, nah, actually it's not worth it. Because I am too lazy to farm for that. Not that I ever need more than 25 potions anyway, usually. And on top of that, uh, you get a little bit more extra gold and EXP. Uh, EXP doesn't matter since I'm max level. You do get a little bit more extra gold per battle, I think. I can't remember if X Guardians can farm more Z tokens per day, but uh, I guess that doesn't really matter either since I have so many right now. And I really can't be bothered to farm the 50 free ones per day either. So yeah, there's also that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, for someone lazy like me, it's probably not worth the the 10 bucks. Or was it, is it 5 bucks or 10 bucks to go from X Guardian to... from go, To go from Guardian to X Guardian. I cannot remember, but yeah. Uh, probably you'll save the money for something else. Yep. Okay, shiny treasure chest. Yes, unfortunately, now it's completely worthless because we can't go above 30 health pots. 30 pots in total. Stage 6 complete. Okay, who's in charge here? Flocks. What is this? The Flocks is the creation of a water wizard who wanted a servant, but the Flocks was too intelligent to live such a life and too powerful to let the wizard live for his folly. Okay, interesting. Not enough. Damn it. Uh, full assault. Wait, 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 what's going on? Huh? Those immune to immune are also immune to the choking effects of this attack. Wait, 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 what's going on here? How come it's... Oh god, is this monster bugged? Am I missing something? Okay. Wait, energy is able to damage it. How come... So what? Pets and gases can't damage it at all? Is that it? Yeah, but this is kind of funny. Those immune to immune are also immune to the choking effects of immune. <laughs> oh man, what what is that even? So I guess it's totally immune to pet and gas damage. So we'll save our SP. Immune to the choking effects of this attack. Yeah, whatever. Uh, ah, damn it. Not enough. I guess we can do ball lightning. 244 HP left. Done, so close. Okay, I'll just use the surfboard to finish it off. The knee board, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is it immune to everything except energy damage? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's immune to everything except energy damage. Alright. Interesting. Well, this is actually a monster that has quite interesting mechanics. 
they should turn it uh they sh if they ever revamp it one day i think it'll be pretty cool yeah immune to everything except energy nice okay potion treasure chest another worthless thing here yep not that we can make use of that uh yep still 30 water battle chamber defeated okay and that was completely worthless Alright, the next quest, uh, Claw Tip Landing. Okay, so we want to exit from here first. Enter. Swirly time. No thanks, let's go. Alright, so this one, uh, travel map, go south and then go to Claw Tip Landing. Is it Dragon Claw Island? Yeah, it is. Okay, a magic infused land of mystery where the Archmage Belacroia has made his home. Oh, actually I've never explored this place before. In fact, i never explored like 90% of the travel map before. Ooh, dense red fog. There's hedge maze. It's claw tip landing. Okay, so let's go for claw tip landing. The only available landing point on the island. Ancient ruins remain of what once might have been a stronghold barring the island off from unwanted visitors. Let's go. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Dragon Claw Island, a death trap for most boats, surrounded by razor sharp rocks and high cliffs. What? Why is it so fast? I didn't even click. Good day, if you have come this far to find me there, must either be very curious or wish to perform a task for me. For the latter, I have some spell components for you to find. Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm Bailaquire Malamin. I'm a mage and a traveler. I've seen many places and wonders throughout lore. Yeah, I don't really have a place in it that I firmly call home. Now my travels have brought me to Dragon Claw Island. Travels? Yes, for many many years I wandered around much of loyal hundreds in fact. Being of elven descent, I have plenty of time to see and do all that I wish. And so I just keep visiting new places, but I have not come here idly. Currently I am on a quest of my own to find a number of crucial spell components. Researching old tomes and books, I have learned that most of the last ones I seek could be found on the largest continent of lore. Okay, unfortunately my powers can provide me limited aid in obtaining them from the immediate area. Are you too weak? Not at all. I can easily lay waste to monsters, and so the difficulty is not of that kind. <laughs> it's in finding some of the monsters that I need to, and in finding some other components that aren't from monsters themselves, but are instead simply in various places of the world. Interesting. Why are you here? The island is This island is known obviously as Dragon Claw Island. It was an island that had a clouded history, and not a lot is known about it. From my studies, I've learned that it has a number of magic-oriented objects associated with it. The island has a prominent natural magical convergence in the center of the northern plain, at which a focus site is built. There is also the magically cre created hedge maze that restricts access to the focus site. The focus site is an ancient place called Sifu Estos. The purpose of these sites was to collect magical energies from around the area and focus it to the center of the spell circle. As well, I believe there is something held within the poisonous red fog on this island, an artifact I require to complete my search for components. Once the rest of my components are collected and I have reached the hedge maze, I will look into removing the fog. Okay, so let's quest for the spell components. Well, before I start getting the components, you are going to have to get my list and bring it back to me. Some critter grabbed it from my pack when I, my back was turned and bolted into the forest. The list is written in my enchanted ink and can only be read when near me. If you bring it back here, the words will show, you, will show up for you. Okay, so let's search for the list. And who? Okay, so this is sort of like a... This is going to be a scavenger hunt of sorts. Alright, let's go for it then. Bard of War. Uh, let's see here. I want to hit him with water or wind. Oh, he damaged himself. Oh, for the from the backlash. Nice. Uh... Armor, go for this. Let's do win. Oops, forgot to switch out the pet. Oops, a daisy. Nice. Another one. Uh, slightly. Oh wait, this is the same level one. Okay. So we want to go for water, wind, or ice pets. Let's see here. Water. Yeah, let's go for water. <laughs> and will he be able to kill himself with the backlash effect? Let's see. Miss. Okay. 
Nice. Over 2,000. Wow, that's crazy. Nice Z tokens. Narvis. Okay, what is this guy? This being is a techno wizard that has found a way to live forever. When he dies in combat, his body seemingly discorporates into energy. But moments later and perhaps a thousand miles away, the Narvis reforms. Interesting, I've never seen this monster before. Uh, artwork leaves much to be desired, obviously, since this is a, obviously a very old artwork, but yeah. We found the list. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, now you found all the objects that I require. Return with them all and I'll let you use one of the items I've collected on my journey. I will find them all. Okay, back to battle on. Okay, right. So now we have to find some of the stuff here. Uh, Gok's eye. Kill a Gok and click on his eye. Gok's can be found in ice yonder in that adventure or as a house guard. Okay, new veins of boat. Contains one if you are level 95 plus and the entrance to the hedge maze contains gogs. Both gogs and me gogs can be found in Warlick Spellcraft Quest under Bacon if you are of high enough level. Okay, gogs. Uh, me gog, army gog, gone. Do. Hmm. Do the what count? Uh, shadow gogs count? Hmm, okay, uh, new veins of both. If you are level 95 plus, where do you go find new veins of boat? Let us see here. Sail East Shapeshifter's Training. Alright. Sail East Shapeshifter. <laughs> yes, we'll skip all this. Uh, Darkness Creatures, Banshee. Can I go after something else? No, 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 no. Uh, alright, today is not my lucky day, okay, and the uh, en entrance to the hedge maze contains gogs, so we go back to Dragon Claw Island, let's look at the entrance of the hedge maze, <laughs> please give me, okay, uh, I'll skip through the dialogue first, oh, 100 luck stat, wow, uh, okay, nice, well, we, we got what we came for. So are you supposed to click on it or something? Or are you supposed to kill the monsters? Uh, oh, I must collect all the components without logging out. And components collected before the list is found. Okay, Gox Eye. I can't click on it. So I have to kill it, then I collect it or what? Let's kill it. So do we auto collect it? You took a Gox Eye. Okay, so that's how you get it. Uh, it doesn't matter, I don't want to pass this roll anyway. Alright, next up, uh, reanimated hay. Found after killing a Hayu in the arena challenge. Click on the remains. Scroll from Zorbex Apprentice, drop some hay after, when after you defeat him, click on the remains. Okay, so go to the arena challenge, Hayu. What in the world is a Hayu? Arena challenge. Where in the world is the arena challenge? Uh, go upstairs. Talk to Nimrod. Okay, Guardian Tower. Uh, arena. Wait. Is it here? Logan. This is Guardian Arena, right? I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Wait. Guardian Arena, take the challenge. Uh, hold up. Crazy challenge, enter at your own risk. Is it this one? I cannot remember which one is it. Uh, not final challenge. God. Hmm. Quests, arena challenge. Yeah, this is the one. Yep. Okay. Uh, take the challenge. Let's go. Hi you. Okay. So we defeat this, and then we can click on it to get it or something. Okay. So this one does earth. Uh. So we'll go Neko. Ooh, this guy has quite a lot of health. All right, Mechalot. 
wind so we want to do wind damage oh wow this guy hits pretty hard okay wind damage fire will do as well uh, we'll go for pig drake let's try and choke him turn on all our toggles okay win 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 where is big dictionary there you are slice and dice okay maybe full assault will do more damage yep oh he hits with a mixture of wind and earth i think or does he just hit with wind i actually don't know full assault Hey fever, so what does that do? Uh healing. Oh okay, so I can't really heal that well. Alright, seems like he's doing a lot of wind damage. We'll switch over to our wind armor. Let's see if he does earth damage now. Uh Haunted Dragon Lord's will. Let's do full assault. Oh wait, I do lose my bleed and burn status. Alright, let's go back, let's go back. Oops a daisy. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so he does hit with wind only. Okay, maybe it's better if we stay in this armor, so at least we don't die to stupid things. Yeah, so apparently he only hits with wind, even though he's of the earth element. Right, so let me just go ahead and drink a mana pot here. And let's do full assault again. Okay, nice, you're blocking most of his attacks, that's good. So I'm supposed to click on the remains after I kill him. The next one is... Phoenix, alright, so the next one I have to fight is Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Ashes. Oh, not enough, damn. This is one thing I really hate about scavenger hunts is because they take such a freaking long long time to do. God damn. And this monster's freaking attack animation is so long. Like what's with the stupid dancing after his attack? Dude, just get it over with. Come on man. This is going to be another long episode guys. I was considering if I wanted to do this. Uh, I thought it wouldn't take that long but I guess I was wrong so... Yeah, another long AQ video for you guys. I think this will probably be like, what, almost an hour long by the time we are done. Yeah. Most of you guys do prefer the longer videos though for some weird reason. Personally, for me, I don't really enjoy videos that are too long. But uh, from the feedback that you guys have given me, uh, you guys have stated that you guys prefer the long videos. So yeah, uh, good for you guys, I guess. Banana Slammer. Okay, I don't really care for this one. Let's flee. Exit. Okay, next one. Smoke Mountains. Where is Smoke Mountains? Crossroads. Uh, travel map. Crossroads. There we are. To the crossroads. Smoke Mountains. Please give me a phoenix. No phoenix. Damn it. Is it faster to just fight? Or is it faster to flee? Hmm. I think it's probably faster to flee. 1 of 13. Yep, I think it's faster to flee. Okay, we'll switch over to fire armor first. And then we will just flee. Please give me a phoenix. Please, please, please. Fire Zard. No, that's not what I wanted. Minions. Yeah, I can get a Phoenix for a minion. So, just have to roll for that. There's not a lot of monsters here. So, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, assuming they all have the same probability of showing up. Demon Knight again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, a total of 7 different monsters that I can can encounter one of them being the phoenix so it's a one in seven chance of encountering it assuming the chances to encounter all the monsters are the same come on fusion 
What in the world, man? Give me a phoenix. Wait a minute. Is fusion even in the list? No, this isn't even in the list. Why is this here? God damn it. Alright, I might pause the video and come back once I find the phoenix. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and come back once we are done finding the phoenix. God damn, finally. So I think they actually took it out of Smoke Mountains. I've been trying for a little while now and I have not encountered a single phoenix. But we did find one in the random house guard. So I, all I did was uh, randomly visit a neighbor and yeah, there we go. Phoenix ashes. Okay, I do not know who this is, but thank you so much for having the Phoenix house guard so that we can finally complete this. All right, the next uh, one that we need to find is the... Uh, you can only get it from Anger Grow Gluck, and you actually need to go and do the entire Blood Drag Keep, uh, okay, uh, before I can go ahead and uh, get it, alright. So, you guys in, talk to Robina, okay, Robina is no longer located there, so Robina, uh, ask her about the dungeons. Where is the dungeons? Next. 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 Wait, where is the dungeons? Oh, Journey to Bloodshot Keep. There we go. Alright, yes. And yeah, you have to fight through... You have to go through the entire quest because the Groglug boss that we are looking for is the last monster that you face. So, once again, I'm going to pause the video here. And I'll get back to you guys when we are uh, at the end, alright? And there we are guys, so thankfully this didn't take too long, with the Titans 4 shield equipped, uh, the monsters basically just kill themselves if they go first, okay, due to the dodge slash of the shield, so we'll get that, took a shaving on Groglug shell, very nice, and then, yeah, now we have to go all the way back where we came from, because there's literally, uh, you... You have to go back the way you came from in order to get out. So you, there's no quick and easy way of getting out. Which is really annoying considering that this is an older quest. So if you go back the way that you came from, you don't have to fight through everything again, which is nice. Okay, so let's see here. This is the third floor, right? So I believe uh, we go... I can't remember where we went already. Uh, this one... Is this the third floor? Yeah, this is the third floor. Okay, so I can go up from here. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, north is... Wait, wait, wait. South, okay, I came out from here, which means I go up. Oh, okay. I go left. I go up. I go right. 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 Up. Okay, second floor. Uh, second floor, we go down one, down another one, and then we go left, left, up, and okay, first floor, uh, go up, go left, wait, ah, I didn't went left just now, whoops, I forgot, it's okay, and you can see that they just killed themselves on my blade, alright, Oops, a daisy. I forgot the the path that I took was the other path. Okay, uh, go right, go down, down again, down another one. Wait, is it not down another one? Oh, I should I probably check the map. Whoopsies. Yeah, this is why I this is like one of the oldest quests inside the game, and it is so so freaking annoying. The fact that. Once you get to the end, you have to backtrack all the way out. Oh my god. Okay, go left, go down. Uh, my god. Go left, go down, then what? Go left and down again, is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Go down again. Okay, there we are. Alright, so the next uh, ingredient that we need to get is the val valence tree leaf. Okay, out the orients. In the main courtyard. Okay, so this one don't need to do any quest luckily. On the tree, the pay the gecko on it. Click on the le leaves on top leftmost branch. Uh top left. Nice, okay, leaf on the valence tree. Okay, so now let's get out of here. Next up we have dried potion herbs. Uh granomore, okay. 
So we have to go to Granomore for the next part. Oh wait, whoops. Misclick. Okay, Granomore, Granomore, travel map. Lucretius Apothecary and Potion Shop. Back on the floor next to the potion. Where is the back on the floor next to the potion? Wait, what? Is it this one? No. Hello? Oh, there we are. Okay, if you are not a guardian, you need to get a travel pass. Okay, so for some weird reason, it turned into the plants on the table, but uh, I guess that works too. Okay, next one. Sweet Orcish Fruit. Travel map, click sail south and on the trees just above Orgaton. Okay. Oh, interesting. I did not know that there were clickables on the travel map too. Okay, so just above Orgaton, click here. Nice. Exceptionally sweet fruit from Orgaton. And last but not least, Volcanic Vent Gas. Uh, Death's Domain by clicking on Death's Hourglass. Click on any of the smoking vents to collect the gas. So we need to go ahead and die. And the fastest way to die is to just uh, go to any random combat practice trainer and kill ourselves with the Essence Orb item. Right. So let's go Essence Orb. And then actually the fastest way to be to just go to random encounter. Why did I even bother going there? Yeah, okay. Chimera should kill us. Please, please kill us. Just kill us, please. Come on. I want to die. Please help me die. Nice, okay. Never thought I'd be so happy to die. Okay, Death's Hourglass over here. Yes, I want to help you. So I want to click on any of the smoking vents to collect the gas. Where in the world are the smoking vents? Where are the smoking vents? Nope, wrong one. Bun broiler, okay. So I want to hit this guy with wind or ice. Okay, ice. Let's go for ice. Earth will do decent. Uh, wind will do decent as well. Okay, let's finish this guy. Nice. Where in the world are the gas vents? Come on. There we are. Some gas from a volcanic vent. Okay, so now how do I get out of here? Do I just fight a monster and flee to get out? Yeah, do I just fight a monster and flee to get out? Is that how you get out of here? I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, okay. And what is this? Oh, the untrainer. Okay, pawns a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay, we'll click on the other one. I have no idea. That's too much trouble. Come on, now I just want to find a monster to kill me. Please, for the love of God. Please give me a monster so to die to. Great, now <laughs> when I want to find a monster to flee, I can't. God damn it. Ah, finally, Demon Panther. Quit searching. Whew. Okay, we are done. So back to Dragon Claw Island. Man, this was a very, very long quest. Let's go. And you have to do all this in one sitting. If you log out, you lose all progress. Just saying. There is only one way onto this secluded island. Yeah, finally, I managed to read this. And yes, I see you have all the items that I requested. I must admit, I'm quite impressed. You better be. As promised, you can have an item from my collection. Okay, come on, what do you have here? Let's see. 
Bellacquia's gift, completely useless item. You may have either the Diamond of the Body, Gondola of Mind, or Ring of Magic, but never all three. Each will buff you greatly, but no mortal could withstand more than one. After all of that, we got this piece of junk. Okay, choose your reward. That's okay. Uh, I will not take any reward. And yeah, I guess this is it uh, for this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have, be sure to uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content, till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.